Number two, um, you want to make sure you have this file downloaded. And we're going to um, import it into Clo. Um, DXF, that's the file extension. I'm always telling students to pay attention to what the file extension is because then you'll know um, which programs can open the files or not. Um, DXF is a standard file extension to open up uh, 2D CADs so that way they can be shared throughout different software programs. So you might run into uh, DXF files a lot. It just means it's like a flat pattern. It hasn't been made into 3D yet. So mine is saved on my downloads folder. I'm going to actually go over to Clo now. So how do I import the file? You might be asking. Um, maybe you guys are organized and have a folder here. Um, I don't have my downloads folder here. So I'm just going to go to file. Um, I'm going to do, uh, I don't know if it really matters if I do import or import add. I think it's actually either one would work because it's sort of the first file, but I guess I'll just do add. Um, okay. And now I need to go find it. I'm just gonna, I know I downloaded it, so I want to make sure I get the right one. Okay, there we go. Open. Um, auto scale at 100%. That's good. I don't need it rotated as far as I know. I don't want to auto trace this as internal lines. Um, so far, all of the checks seem okay. I'll just say okay. Great, there is my 2D pattern right now. I'm gonna minimize my library so I can have a little bit more space. Same with my object browser and same with my property editor. Um, okay, so I kinda wanna focus on the 2D window right now, so I'm gonna just make that one big and then I'm gonna zoom out. I'm scrolling with my mouse wheel to zoom out. And what we want to do is we want to actually um, put this on kind of the shadow of the avatar right here. Also, if you notice, um, this is kind of like a little blousey uh, t-shirt. Um, and it's only half of the pattern. So, you know, might say like cut to or whatever. So we're going to have to copy and paste the front bodice, the back bodice, and we're also going to copy the sleeve. So we have two sleeves. So um, do you guys remember how to deselect a pattern? Right now, all four pieces are selected, but how would I deselect? If you're familiar with Illustrator, you probably know to push shift. So I just did that. Okay, cool. So there we are. Um, and then to copy it, um, the easiest way. Yeah, you can go copy and paste, but Clo has like a cooler trick. So I'm gonna right click and you're gonna choose under clone pattern with linked editing. That's gonna copy it. This will make, then you choose this one, symmetric pattern with sewing. So this might seem weird at first, but you're probably gonna get used to this really quickly. Um, basically, it just copies your pattern um, and any, like if you add sewing to it, it's gonna copy the sewing as well. So it's really handy. Um, you can always unlink it anytime you think you need to as well. Okay, I'm kind of lining it up right here just to sort of stay organized. Um, okay, and you know what? I think what I'd like to do is actually bring over the back pieces right next to each other there. Okay, I think this is pretty organized. I know my front is in front of the bodice. I kind of have my back to the side, and there are my sleeves right next to each arm ready to go. Um, so just make sure that you can manipulate your 2D pattern to just arrange it on this kind of little shadow avatar and you will be in good shape and ready for the next step.